an earlier segment of the ABS hangar, reviewed the hot start procedure for fuel-injected engines. But what if you were flying a classic Bonanza equipped with an E-185 or E-225 engine? This time in the ABS hangar, hot starts in E-series engines equipped with the PS5C carburetor. Explained by Classic Bonanza and E-Series engine expert, Lou Gage. Well, hello everyone that's uh, watching this. Um, when I attended the ABS convention this last September in Wichita, uh, I talked to quite a number of people that were new members and uh, they had, uh, uh, those new members that I talked to, uh, most all of them had the uh, E-series engine in the old 35 through G35 Bonanzas. And I'm amazed every time I get my ABS magazine that there's a full page of new people in there, about uh, 80 to 100 people on that page every month. And so there's a lot of new members that are coming in that have no prior experience with the uh, Beach Bonanza, and let alone the airplanes that have the E-Series engine in them with the PS5C carburetor. Now, that it's not like a carburetor that you might have used on a Cessna 172 or a 182 with a float-type carburetor. This is a pressure carburetor. It does not have a float chamber in it. There's no float and so forth. And it's uh, actually single-point fuel injection. It's the same as, um, as uh, uh, any of the other pressure carburetors that Bendix made. So it dumps all of the fuel at one place under pressure. Uh, the, the idea of uh, this little discussion is to uh, tell you how to make a hot start on uh, E-series engine that has the pressure carburetor. And uh, Tom put out a, a good uh, video here just recently on the hot start procedure for the fuel injected engine. And it, the hot start procedure for those engines is totally different than it is for the E-Series engine. So if you're out flying and you stop for foo uh, food or for fuel or stop for an hour or hour and a half or two hours uh, and need to make a hot start, and that time varies a little bit with what the outside air temperature is and if the wind is blowing and so forth. But assuming that it's not more than two hours, why this is the procedure you want to use. What happens is, is when you pull up to the fuel pump or to the restaurant parking area and shut the engine down, everything in under the cowl is hot. And so uh, the carburetor, of course, is cool when you just shut the engine down because the air, uh, the ambient air has been going through it and the fuel and that's cooling the carburetor off. Well, then very short period of time, why everything in the engine compartment gets hot because you're not moving any air through there, you know, as you do when you, you're flying. So what happens is, is the carburetor heats up as well as the fuel pump, the engine driven fuel pump, the carburetor heats up and it actually percolates some fuel out of the passages that are in the carburetor because they're 100% full of fuel. It's, it's, no, there's no space above the fuel level like in a, car, in a float chamber uh, and that type carburetor. So as the carburetor heats up, it percolates out some fuel. And of course, that fuel dribbles out of the, out of the nozzles and it vaporizes because the air inlet elbow to the carburetor is hot and the fuel falls on that and then it's just hot under there 
And so the fuel vaporizes and it fills up the intake manifold with fuel vapor and which makes an ideal situation for starting the engine. So when you, when you wanna make a hot start, you get in the airplane, make sure the fuel is turned on because I always turn my fuel off when I get out to go in and have breakfast or, or something. Uh, for some reason that I stop, I always turn the fuel off. So always turn the fuel on. Normally that'd be the left hand tank, fuel tank. And don't pump the wobble pump at all. Now you may have an electric uh, fuel pump. I have an electric fuel pump, but I never use it for any starting procedure. I always use the wobble pump. So turn the ignition on, be sure you do that. And then um, do the tick trick. If you have an E80 starter, you want to do the, what I call a tick trick. You just momentarily depress the starter button just with a, a, a swift a jab of the thumb and the starter motor will just turn, and if you do it right, and there's a little bit of artwork involved here, why the engagement of the starter motor will be such that you'll just bump the propeller and the tip of the propeller will move an inch or two inches. So now the, the starter motor's engaged with the engine. And then you open the throttle about a quarter of an inch. And so you've got the fuel on, you've got the ignition on, you bump the starter, only an E80. Now the 36E14 doesn't require that. You just push the starter button with the 36E14. But with the E80, you want to engage the mechanism so you uh, avoid breaking the gears in the starter or the engine gears, which I have a collection of those failed gears that I have used many times in the uh, seminars that I've given at ABS conventions and elsewhere. And so you want to avoid that. The E80 starter, uh, you can engage the starter to the engine with just that tick trick. Okay, then you're going to push the starter button for the second time to start the engine. Have your hand on the wobble pump lever because the engine is going to start the first cylinder that fires. It, 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 the engine won't turn over a half a turn and the engine will fire immediately. And you have to be ready to, and probably should, as soon as the engine starts, is to wobble pump. Because the fuel pump probably, especially if it's hot weather, will also have gotten very warm and percolated the fuel out of the fuel pump. So there may be no liquid fuel in the fuel pump and it will have lost its prime. And the engine with this, uh, uh, vaporized fuel that's in the induction manifold, uh, the engine will only run uh, maybe uh, 10 RPM running before it'll quit. So you've got to su supply fuel, but don't do any until the engine starts. Uh, don't do any uh, wobble pumping. And the instant the engine fires, start wobble pumping pretty good. Take a look at the fuel pressure gauge. And if the fuel pressure gauge comes up into the green band, you know, 11 to 15 pounds, why it should be okay and the engine should continue to run. But you'll be, you'll be surprised at how fast the engine starts. It'll start the first cylinder that, that fires a spark plug. And so that's the hot start procedure for the E-Series engine that has the PS5C carburetor on it. I've talked to many people and I've also seen it. They've sent me emails and, and it used to be telephone calls and letters that you had to lick the stamp on, but that they were they were having trouble with hot start procedures and they tried this, this procedure I just went through with you. And they were just amazed at how fast the starter, this engine started. So that's it for the hot start procedure. This video, is part of the American Bonanza Society's ABS Web webinar series, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of 
the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.